What is up guys and welcome to another Red Dead Online video. Today it is Tuesday which means we go and get our weekly update and as always I'll leave a link in the description down below for you to read along but I will be going through this very very quickly. The first thing that is new is the new legendary bounty. Last week we had a very good one where we have to go and get the Owl Hoop family. It was my favourite one so far but this week we have to go and take down Sergio Vincenza. This one is very similar to the Barbarella Alcatraz one. All you have to do is go to a location, kill a few people and then go and take him back to the closest jail cell. It is very short and very easy to do, unlike the El Hoot family, which was a bit harder to go and do just because you had to go and get four different members of the family and it did take a lot longer to go and do as well. New for this week, we are also going to get a few new items of clothing such as the Fowell hat, Dele hat, the Prieto poncho, the Eberhardt coat, the Morales vest and lastly the Carver pants. If you are more into the free aim series for the showdown series then for this week you can go and play name your weapon complete in teams or a free for all and kill enemies with different types of weapons the more difficult the weapon the more points you'll be able to go and get and for this week if you do like playing through the collector you have a new set of items that you need to go and collect so madame nazar is seeking the naturalist collection which means you need to go and get the cherrywood comb the egg root egg and also bitterweed which you can be finding within the world of red dead online all you have to do is pick those up and then go and take them back to Madame Nazar and then go and sell that as a set. If anyone is new and is thinking about starting Red Dead Online, what you can go and do for this week is that you can go and get a five gold bar discount on the three new roles. So that is the bounty hunter, the trader, and also the collector. But it does also state here that if you were to go and do the things that we had to do when this update first came out, which is either be a PlayStation Plus member, go and collect all 54 casino cards, be a Twitch Prime member and link that to the social club, you are still able to go and get those if you have done those to go and get some of these roles for free. So that means you'll be able to go and get a free bounty hunter license if you have linked your Twitch Prime with a social club. You'll be able to go and get a free butcher's table if you are a PlayStation Plus subscriber and also you'll be able to go and get the collector's satchel for free if you have collected all 54 casino cards which are hidden within GTA Online. But if you haven't done any of that you will be able to go and get a gold discount of 5 gold bars which brings all of these roles down from 15 gold bars all the way down to 10 gold bars each. On top of that, for those that do play Red Dead Online this week, you'll also go and get a 5,000 club XP bonus within Red Dead Online and all you have to do is just play the game as well as there is a 30% extra character and role XP for all roles, missions, challenges and events. And if that is not enough, on top of that, if you go and complete the Sergio Vincenza legendary bounty, you'll also go and get an exclusive colorway of the Inglet scarf and also 100 rounds of express rifle ammo and that should be done within 24 hours of completion. PlayStation Plus members, this is the week when you go and get your exclusive content. So if you go and play Red Dead Online between the 8th of October and all the way up to the 4th of November, you'll get an exclusive tin of the Killman Vest, which will be deposited into your account within 24 hours of playing Red Dead Online. And finally, the last thing to talk about is something for Red Dead Online and also GTA Online. If you play GTA Online between October the 10th and December the 12th, you'll unlock this free master to wear in the adventures in Red Dead Online. They've done quite a few of these promotions already where you go and do something in GTA Online and you're able to go and unlock something in Red Dead Online. And when Red Dead Online Summer Update finally came out, I knew a lot of people was already being able to go and get this mask because they already found it within their wardrobe. I know it's not everyone, it's only a selected few. So to all those people that were tweeting me saying, what is this mask? How did I manage to go and get it? This is pretty much what it was. And we did say that this is probably gonna be something that's gonna be a promotion in the future for Red Dead Online. We didn't know exactly what you had to go and do to go and get it, but now we do know. But anyway guys, that is everything you need to know about this week's update. Is there anything in here that you think is really good? Is there anything else that you would be liking to go and see with Red Dead Online currently? For me, the only thing is that the trader seems pretty much neglected. There isn't really anything for the trader role right now. Getting a lot of stuff for the bounty hunter and also the collector, but nothing for that trader role. But anyway guys, I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. But for now, I'm going. So see ya.